Are you curious which companies offer the highest compensation for interns? Well then, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into the high paying engineering internships and breaking down which companies pay the most. You might be surprised to see that some interns can make more than their tuition over the few months of summer. Now we're going to be comparing the highest paying internships across all companies compared to big tech and startups. And we'll finish with a look at how remote internships compare. If that sounds good, hit that like button and let's dive in. Before we get into the numbers though, let's first talk about why internships matter so much. I am going to be using numbers from levels.fyi as usual. And when you get to their website, the first thing you'll see is this quote, internships are the surest path to full-time job. And I definitely agree with this sentiment. For those of you who are new here, I'm Jean, a retired software engineering manager from WhatsApp and Meta. And I started recruiting interns back in 2012 when I was working at WhatsApp as a software engineer. And as the only ex-fang software engineer engineering manager on YouTube. I'm here to share the behind the scenes detail about how big tech hiring works, the salaries and insider tips that you won't hear from anywhere else. Now, something not many people may be familiar with is that big tech companies do actually aim to convert as many interns as possible to full-time roles. And that's because internships allow them to assess talent in a practical hands-on environment and is the best indicator of great talent. And I've already extensively talked about internships in my previous videos, so feel free to go check that out later. But let's get into the good stuff. Let's talk about the salaries. I'll share the top five highest paying software engineering interns from this past summer using data from Levels at FYI so that we have the most up-to-date comprehensive numbers. Feel free to check out the site for the most up-to-date numbers, but these pay ranges typically won't fluctuate too much year to year. First, let's start with the overall highest pay across all types of companies. D.E. Shaw comes in at number five, paying $127 an hour plus housing. This intern had a PhD and worked as a quantitative researcher. Number four is SIG offering $100 $136 an hour. This intern also had a PhD plus corporate housing, company provided transportation, relocation benefit, and a sign-on bonus of $27,500. A quick note here about relocation packages. This can include anything from moving costs, flights, shipping of your items, and even extra perks like unpacking services. I know this because when I had to relocate to London to kickstart a new engineering office for WhatsApp, I got a similar package. Now back to the salary. Number three is five rings paying $144 per hour plus a $10,000 sign-on bonus. Number two is Arrow Street Capital in Boston paying $144 an hour. And this intern was an undergrad junior. And finally, number one goes to Radix Trading in Chicago with an hourly rate of $160 plus corporate housing and $25,000 of sign-on bonus. So let's take a look at this. What is the total pay this intern received over the summer? If we do a quick math, you'll see with the reported monthly pay of $27,733, if they worked the full three months through the summer, the total would be $83,199. I'm not rounding up for these numbers. If you add the sign-on bonus of $25,000, the total earning comes to $108,199. This is enough to cover a significant portion of your tuition, if not all, for most US schools. You have probably noticed the trend here that finance companies are dominating the top five pay scale here. Finance companies usually offer the highest salary Salaries, not just for interns, but also for full-time junior roles. But quant roles do usually require advanced degrees and specialized skills and are in high demand, which drives up the compensation for junior roles in finance. Next up, we have the FANG Plus companies. Essentially, these are the big tech giants. Number five is Roblox in San Mateo, offering $64 an hour for undergraduate interns. This green mark shows that the salary information was verified using an official offer letter, so we know that is accurate. So on top of the $64 an hour, this person also got $10,000 for housing, plus free meals, and even a $300 for headphone stipend. Number four is Facebook in New York City paying $65 an hour. This intern also got 
$3,900 in housing and relocation benefit. Number three is Uber in San Francisco paying $67 an hour. And this is the only intern in the FANG category with a PhD. The housing benefit included $1,700 per month. Number two is Snap in Santa Monica, California, also paying $67 an hour. The cool thing here is that this intern was a sophomore. So yes, you can start earning even early in your college years. I've talked about finding internship opportunities for freshmen and sophomore in my previous video, so go check that out if you're interested. Now, number one goes to Amazon in New York City. There were several records for Amazon's summer internships, and the highest hourly rate recorded was $89.69. And this one was reported from an undergrad junior intern. Now let's talk about startups. Finance and big tech companies do tend to offer higher pay, but some startups are catching up and they may offer more learning potential, flexibility, and the chance to work on cutting edge innovation. Plus you will have more influence and a closer connection and relationship with the early engineers working at the startup. So here is number five, Benchling, which is a life sciences R&D company paying $60 per hour plus $2,000 in housing and a bunch of perks like free meals and wellness stipend. Number four is Andrew on American Defense Tech company. They also pay 60 an hour plus benefits including housing and transportation. But there are also a total of 11 companies including Figma, Reddit, Stripe all paying $60 an hour making this a common rate for many startups. Number three is Twitch paying slightly higher at $60.65 an hour. This person was also an undergraduate junior, similar to most of the other roles in this pay band. Twitch also provided $2,600 per month in housing in San Francisco. Number two is Shield AI in San Diego, but I do want to actually count this one as a top pay for a startup because number one was Kensho, which is technically a subsidiary company of an S&P Global, which is a finance company. So I don't think it really counts as a startup, even though the top pay was $70 an hour. So back to Shield AI, they offered $67 an hour. Not a bad gig for a startup. Finally, let's look at some of the top remote engineering internships. I think you would be happy to learn that remote roles are very competitive in this category. And remote internships are great because it can open doors to great opportunities for students who are not in major tech hubs. And you can get the experience without needing to relocate. So here are the highest paying ones. Number five is Pinterest offering $52 an hour. And the fun fact is that they're one of the few big tech companies that are still allowing fully remote work. Number four is Lacework. They provide end-to-end -end cloud security automation offering $55 per hour for junior undergraduate intern. Number three is Whatnot. It is a community marketplace startup offering $58 per hour plus $150 per month as a work from home stipend. Number two is Headway. They help founders and startups go from zero to launch and they offered $64 an hour and a sign on bonus of $10,000, which is pretty competitive even compared to the top finance salaries. And finally, number one was of course another finance company, Trade Web paying $75 an hour, proving once again that finance companies lead the way even remotely. And there you have it, the top salaries for interns. Now, if you want to learn how you can land one of these lucrative internships, check out this video. The tips might surprise you. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this one next. I'll see you there.